the doctrine of Jainism. Let us now study the doctrine of Jainism. The five vows. As a part of the religion, every Jain had to take the five great vows. They are Ahimsa or non-violence, not to cause harm to any living being. Satya or truthfulness, to speak the harmless truth only. Asteya or non-stealing, not to take anything not properly given. Aparigraha or non-possession, complete detachment from people, places and material things. Brahmacharya or chastity, not to indulge in sensual pleasure. The first four vows are attributed to the 23rd Jain Tirthankar, Lord Parsvanath. Mahavira is credited with adding the fifth vow. To free oneself from any worldly possessions, he asked his followers to discard even their clothes. Let us now study about the doctrines of Jainism. Karma and Nirvana Mahavir believed that every individual was in the bondage of karma or the good and the bad deeds. Any activity, whether good or bad, induces karma. Bad deeds induce durable karma. It gets accumulated with the repeated cycles of birth and death. To free oneself from the cycles of birth and death and the effect of karma, one has to follow and practice the three ratna or three jewels. These are right faith, right knowledge, right conduct. Once the soul is free from the effect of karma, it reaches the highest heaven. This stage is called Nirvana. Not believing in God Jainism does not believe in the existence of God. Mahavir did not accept that God is the creator of the universe. He believed that the universe was eternal. For Jains, every object, whether living or non-living being, has a soul. Jainism lays more emphasis on the purification of the soul, for according to them, only the pure soul when released from the body resides in bliss. Rejection of the Vedic religion and caste system Mahavir rejected the increasing importance of the rituals and sacrifices in the Vedic religion. He was also against the rigidity of the Varna system. He believed that all human beings are equal. His thoughts and philosophies attracted people from all walks of life, rich and poor, men and women, and high caste and low caste. Salvation Jainism believes that salvation cannot be attained by laymen. It requires a tough regime of fasting, meditation, giving up worldly possessions and self-punishment. As a result, a rigorous and harsh monastic life is required to achieve salvation.